What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to yet another episode of Red Cat Live. Usually, this is the time where we talk RC stuff, RC lowriders, RC crawlers, RC bashers, anything Red Cat related that we can throw at you guys and have a good time with. Hey, I'm here and I'm all for it. First and foremost, hope all of you guys are having a great week. We had a couple drops that I wanted to make sure you guys knew about in case you didn't know about them or hadn't seen them. One of the things is obviously what's standing right here in front of me, which is our brand new Red Cat Mod Wheels. It's a modular wheel system, which we'll talk about here in a little bit and talk about a little bit, talk a little bit about the configurations thereof at the same time. Um, Finny Carroll is in the house. What's up, family? How you doing, brother man? Hopefully you're doing good uh, and staying blessed out there. Um, so yeah, long story short, it's been kind of a, oh my gosh, here we go. Black Turtle Garage is in the house. What's going on? Hopefully you're having a good day too as well, Eric. Uh, but yeah, we're going to talk mod wheels today. Uh, what they are, what they have to do with. We also are going to talk about where we left off last week. As you guys remember, last week, if you stopped by and watched the show, we actually had um, a Gen 8 that we were working on in pieces to recreate something that we can use for this year's 2022 USTE event, which will be held in Florida. So we're looking forward to it. It should be a good time. Harvey Pryor's in the house. It's always good to hear from you, Harvey. Hopefully you're taking care, representing Bullhead City. I love it, man. I love it. Uh, so yeah, guys, we've got a crawler that we're going to be sharing with you guys, uh, for which I'm going to be flying out with me to Florida. So stay tuned. So we're going to talk Mod Wheels the crawler build that we were talking about, uh, as well as a little bit about our dual servo setup that just recently dropped. Um, let me make sure, let me see, here we go. All right, so first and foremost, Mod Wheels. Mod Wheels uh, was, in essence, something that we thought of that would bring a good value to all of the RC community in the RC lowrider scene, and maybe even not just the RC lowrider scene. Uh, these wheels do come with a 12 millimeter hex, so obviously there are a multitude of options that you can do and or install them on different products uh, thereof. So a couple different configurations that you can do in it, as well as a couple of the features that I found that might even be more useful for you to be able to maximize the use out of your wheels. Um, Brian Aiken Smith representing New Mexico. What's going on? Hopefully you're having a good one. Uh, we got Victor Pacheco representing Puerto Rico. Man, much love, man. Hopefully you guys staying blessed out there, man. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, we got uh, Kondu representing Japan. I love it, man. I love it. Thank you for swinging by, man. Michael Hawkins, what's going on representing Philly? Oh, man, see, this, this is what I'm talking about, man. We got people from all over the world hanging out, having a good time, and just talking RCs. Um, man, we got uh, Richard representing VA, man. It's it got a little bit cold out there in the East Coast, I'm sure, right? Uh, Milo, man. Milo's in the house. What's going on, brother? Man, hopefully you're good, man. Um, so, man, a little bit about the mod wheels, right? As I mentioned before, man, we really wanted to come out and, and, and just kind of give you guys an option that would allow you to customize your guys' cars uh, by keeping, I believe, like at least two or three very iconic wheels that can be used for, you know, a lot of different opportunities or options thereof. Um, so as you guys see here in front of me, I'll open this up in a second. You guys see we got uh, my 64 drop top, my vert, sitting on the SS hubcaps, which you guys can, ooh, let me see if I can get a better angle from there. There you go, right? So that's one of the options of the wheels, and I'll go and tear them apart for you, but there's, again, something really cool that you can do uh, if you buy one set to you know, get two cars to look cool. So uh, we'll talk about that here in a sec. So uh, these are the SS hubs, which I love. Lots of options, they, they do great. Um, man, we got Black Turtle Garage representing Timbuktu is in the house. <laughs> man, you're full. Um, all right, and then also obviously we have, um, you know, the, the twisted spoke design with the center caps, which you'll see. And then we have this option in the back that not a lot of people know about, and we'll discuss those here in a little bit, man. Justin, representing the U.S. Army, man. U.S. Army RC crew, thank you for stopping by, man. Thank you for your service. Um, so I'm going to switch over to this camera over here on the side, move some things out of the way, and let's talk a little bit about wheels and some options that you guys have uh, now as an option from us. Uh, just so you guys know, we do offer the mod wheels in two different packaging setups, or two uh, color options. We have the gold set and the chrome set. Um, both of them are identical as far as what you get. Um, 
let's see but they do not come with the low pro tires so keep that in mind guys um all the parts that we're going to discuss here today are listed underneath the uh, description of the video so if you want to check them out just go to the description of the video and you'll have a hyperlink so that you can go and check out the wheels low pro tires as well as the dual servo kit and the products other products that we'll talk here gabriel what's going on man thank you for swinging by um all right all right let's go here let's let's i don't want to get my mind off it because i got a lot of things we're going to talk about today i want to make sure we get them in you know all within the hour here so obviously you got your mod wheel box you know we got the red cat logo on top uh nice pinstriping rc lowriders there there's the bottom half of the box there on the back side you'll see the different configurations that can be used it does also include a tool so that you can put on the knockoff and take it off uh, you will have to press in the uh, three millimeter nuts into each wheel so keep that in mind as well guys uh, Eric, what's up? Eric, RC Patina guy. How you doing, sir? Uh, Angel Play, uh, Beast, sorry. Can't see from here. Uh, what's going on, man? Hopefully you're doing good. Um, let's see. All right, all right. So um, another thing, too, that kind of comes really cool with the wheels is you'll get a, a multitude of different stickers. The blank black stickers are going to be really great when you put them behind the spokes if you want to black out the uh, back of them, right, so that the spokes kind of pop a little bit more. We also have some scale stickers for uh, disc brakes, if you, that's your option, and a couple different center stickers for your knockoffs, so keep that in mind as well. Um, packaging, pretty simple and easy, nothing overly fancy, but something that you would you know, come to know from Red Cat at this point. Um, open this bad boy up. First thing you're gonna notice is a place for all of your wheels. You can keep the wheels in this package, keep this in your backpack, take it with you if you want. If not, no big deal, but it's an option that you can have. The kit will come with four barrels, blanks, which you guys can see here. And it's shiny, right? On the back, you see the 12 millimeter hex. And just so you guys know, these are pretty much the exact same, the barrels are the same width and height as the original Red Cat Lowrider wheels, whether they're the low pros or the regular spokes, uh, they're gonna be the same exact diameter. Um, let me still check some questions. Yeah, you're right, bro. I'm not gonna know how to say your name, bro, but what's good to you too. I love it, man, I love you. Thank you for bringing a little bit of cheer to the, uh, uh, to the group, man. That's what's up. Um, all right, so you got your four blanks, which you guys can see here. We're just gonna concentrate on one for now so you guys can get an idea there's your blank wheel uh one of the most standard blanks that you're going to see is going to be your steely look looking wheel which in essence just fits right in there right uh you can press this in to get a little bit of a deeper dish okay and that's going to be your one option that you have the kit as i mentioned does come with all the nut and hardware that nuts and hardware that you'll need including something really cool that i love um and you guys can see on my 64 here there it is the red cat plaque in the back so the kit will come with that so if you guys want to put one of those on hey it's an option uh for you to have as well there it is i love gold <laughs> um so obviously you have your three millimeter nut hardware right that you're going to be inputting into the actual knockoffs and or the wheels i'm going to ignore some comments here for a few seconds guys just so i can make sure i can keep track of what i'm doing here and i'm going to take off a couple of different options that we have so one main option that we have is going to be this multitude of spokes right you have the straight spoke design then you have the twisted spoke design one of the features is to be able to stack these two together giving you Hopefully, pick it up there. Come on. Uh, it's making a liar out of me. Um, so you end up stacking them inside, right? As you can see there. And then you've got your center knockoff there that you press the nut into place. Um, come on, there it is. Uh, make sure that you add a little dab of glue on the inside to hold the nut in place and then you can start installing it 
on the car itself. Kind of a nice option. Another option that a lot of folks did not know about when they first created these, which I like, is if you use the blank barrel and you use just the straight spoke, you can actually get these bad boys to sit nice and deep inside to get you a spoke deep dish look. And that spoked deep dish look, you can see I recreated it on this wheel as well. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. And these tires that you see here are the uh, 3D scale parts, uh, hard rubber tires. Um, and what I did was I reached out to Jesse Macias that uh, does the 3D scale stuff. And he printed me these knockoffs that you guys can see here, which are this diamond cut. Um, that just gave me another option uh, to put together. So a lot of you guys were asking what wheels I had on my black uh, Monte Carlo, the training day car. This is the setup right there. So uh, just so you guys, as you guys can see, the wheels, since they are the factory size width that Red Cat offers on the 3D scale parts tires, you can see that they are a little bit narrower than the tire itself. Not enough to cause any issues with driving, but it is enough that I need to let you guys know about, right? Um, so that's an option. What I did on these was I just took the, you know, the straight lace spoke design, uh, set it in there, um, and then obviously your, your knockoff will go in place and keep it from coming loose. I like this look a lot, you know, especially considering you can use the sticker kit, throw the SS logos on them if you like. So that's kind of an option that is not one of the original four options that were included that I just ended up finding a lot of use for it. I just thought it looked really cool, really rad. So hopefully it helps you guys in the future as well. Another cool thing is, let's say that you guys wanted to run the SS hubcaps, right? And on the SS hubcaps, um, let me see here. Let me find a stock tire. I thought I brought one with me. Hold on one second, guys. I'm over here putting things in everywhere. <laughs> so let's say that you guys had a just a stock spoke wheel. Let me see if I can get one here to show you. Because I know I did it to my Impala. So this was this is an option that I thought was kind of cool, which is you buy this kit and you have two low riders that you want to make look cool, right? So I thought it'd be kind of nice uh, to have another option. These are the factory stock Monte Carlo wheels and tires, low pros. Uh, they're spokes, as you can see. But what's really cool is if you take the center hubcap and drop them into your low pros if you already have them, um, obviously, if you put the nut on the back, which you see there, and it's glued in place, uh, and then you can tighten it, the actual tool that comes included is splined to be able to put it on there and twist and turn and tighten it up. So you get the SS look on your factory tires that you already have or your low pros if you already have a set. Um, so that is takes care of one car, right? In essence, you take all four of your wheels off, throw the SS ones on your you know, Impala, and now your Impala is set up with the SS center caps. Now you have your all your extra blank you know, wheels to do a second car if you like. So again, another little cool attribute uh, where the possibilities can be a little bit endless in that fashion. I mean, there's an end to them. There's not an unlimited amount of them, but it gives you a little bit more for your buck, I feel. Um, you know, the wheels, obviously I believe are um, a couple of dollars apart when it comes to the chrome and the gold. So it's kind of nice to have that option just to be able to maximize what you get. Again, this is a steel wheel look on the gold. Um, your lace, your cross lace looking wheel with your center cap. And because it looks really cool, uh, we also, let me see if I can get this bad boy to come off, which probably can't. Um, because I didn't bring any tools in here with me, but you also have the Kragers. Let's see if I can get it to, there we go. 
So again, now you have some craters that you can use um, as well with the blank. So there's a blank right there. So there's your blank. Craters go inside, right? Now on the craters, it's gonna be a little bit of a different thing because you can see the gold right behind. It's like a mirror finish. It just doesn't look scale. So if you were to grab your sticker kit that is included, And of course you have detailed instructions on how everything goes together. But there we go. There's your rotors. So I can peel that off and I can mount it to the inside of the barrel to highlight rotors or I can just black them out so that once that's all blacked out on the inside, uh, you have a, a gold lip all the way around and a gold face of your wheel. So again, a couple Really cool and rad options that you guys can do um, and for the buck. I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome. I personally love the, let me see if I can get this to focus again. There we go. I love the SS um, uh, center cap, right? The stickers for the knockoffs. We have them in red, in white. We have the R for red cat, the red cat head, um, the smaller R's. So again, multitude of options for you to be able to use and enjoy, right? There is no main difference between the gold set uh, and the chrome set. Everything's gonna be the exact same, but uh, you have four wheel options total that the kit comes with. And if you take some of the information that I gave you, you might have a fifth option to use, or at least one of the fourth options so that you can maximize the other three options for a second car uh, thereof. Um, as I mentioned, the wheels do not come with tires, so you will have to buy low pro tires separately. And I do believe those are about $20 uh, for those tires separately if you don't already have them. Um, if you have a set of low pro wheels, um, as I mentioned before, you can definitely do what I did with the, uh, where did I put? You can definitely do what I did with the stock low pros or aftermarket low pros if you owned them. If you have an Impala and you wanted to use these, you can just slap those on and that hides the spokes. This way I can use my blanks for another option. So, you know, food for thought guys, you know, hopefully that helps understand what we're trying to do and just give you guys some options out there. This is by no means in a way to replace what's already out there or what other manufacturers are doing, but rather just to be able to give you guys some options uh, to be able to continue growing the hobby and continue making cool uh, pictures and, and video content that we can hopefully reshare like we have been all year long. So um, yes, our Subutina guy, they do. These uh, actually are about the same size. Um, I have not actually physically tried them, but um, I do believe they should be right on the money as well. Uh, these are the 3D scale parts tires on the exact same blanks. Uh, so they, they're the exact same wheels, size wheels that we've always been using. The size of diameter wheels that we've been offering since the beginning with the 64, the Monte Carlo, and the Low Pros, there is no difference in the size and height or width of the actual wheel. Uh, the only thing that changed was the actual tire. Um, but uh, Jeffrey's wheels, you know, obviously have a, a lot more of a bubble to the 520s, the tires. Um, so I don't know exactly how they're going to sit on there and how good they're going to look. But, you know, food for thought, who knows, maybe in the future, um, hopefully you guys will be able to play with that and uh, share some cool content with those as well. Let me um, scroll up a little bit, guys, make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, let me see. Jim Wolf wants to know, will Red Cat uh, do a 59 or 60 Impala? You know, at this time, uh, there's no saying, uh, no knowing exactly what we're going to do. I know we're working on something. Um, it's just a matter of time whether or not uh, we can go that way or if we're going to go up in years or even lower in years. So stay tuned, though. It should be a killer year with the scene and product drops that we'll have coming up. Um, let me see. BT. Uh, see, I need those style knockoffs. Yes. So, hey, just so you know, like Jesse knocks these out, too. Like I mentioned before, this is Jesse's knockoff right there that he made for the my Monte Carlo training day and com combined with the 3D scale tires that I slapped on these um, and the spoke design that I chose to get a, uh, a deeper barrel, um, they just, they look perfect on there, you know? 
definitely mimic the look that I was going for. So, you know, definitely something you guys can do. Um, let's see. Thank you, Gabriel. You know, it, it, we're definitely, as I mentioned before, we're not trying to take over and do something that anyone else hasn't already done in a fashion of, uh, of products, right? We, the wheel was not invented by Red Cat. The wheel was, you know, a round, circular thing that has been invented years and years and years ago. So uh, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're just trying to offer some options that help you guys um, enjoy the hobby a little bit more uh, as it goes. Um, what do they look like in the two-tone? So I do... I have done two-tone in the past. Um, let me see if I can get a blank here to share with you. So let's say you guys were to do a gold blank and you were to use the straight lace. See, it, it, the contrast is a little hard. But if you were to put the black sticker on the inside and then put this on, it would pop a lot more. But there's your two-tone effect. Definitely doable. Um, let me see. This is your... Gold barrel with chrome insert. So yeah, definitely some options that you guys can have fun with when it comes to that. Um, let me see. Gabriel, yeah, man, a couple more red cap plaques would be cool to have. As I mentioned before, uh, with the kit, you do get the gold and chrome plaque that we offer right now. Um, I hope to potentially, you know, have more to offer in that fashion in the future. And definitely something we can let the engineering team know and see if it's something we can knock out for you guys. Um, ooh, I, can, I feel that, man. A Coupe de Ville all day. Heck yeah. Uh, Daria, man, what's going on, man? Hopefully you're doing good, bro. Um, Big body caddy. Yep, yep. I can, I'm feeling that for sure. Um, <laughs> Marcus Jennings. Now I will have six sets of wheels. Um, so plenty of options. Man, right on. That's exactly what we wanted to accomplish when it comes to that. So uh, mod wheels, guys. If you want to get a set, definitely get them while you can. Uh, while they are available, um, head on over to the our website and order yourself a set or two. Um, as I mentioned, Pick up a set of low pro tires um, for your second set if you're going to be doing that. Uh, but no matter what, they do not come with tires, so just keep that in mind. Um, if you were to do the barrels I was talking about, the chrome barrels with the regular knockoffs, that's in essence what it would look like right there. Um, I did use the SS stickers on the golds with the cross lace, which you guys can see right there so um, a lot of cool options right uh, hopefully again it makes it more enjoyable it keeps you it keeps you guys having fun within the hobby because at the end of the day man that's that's what it's about right we're here to have fun we're here to have a good time enjoy ourselves the hobby is to de-stress which is why i am super relaxed because next week i get to go to florida i'm going to go to uste for the first time i'm so excited Last week, we talked about, you know, a build that was just a bunch of parts laying out and something I wanted to do, you know, to share with all of you guys. Um, and what ended up happening was my mind just got going, right? And I showed you guys a 1964 Impala body, the 64 lowrider body, and I joked around at potentially putting it on a crawler chassis. Well, the time has come, and um, I did it. Um, it, there are some details that I still have to do. I still have to put a steering column inside of it. Um, but I believe other than that, we are just about done with it. You know, so it's, it's at a point where I think it's safe enough to reveal. I don't know if I want to reveal it just yet because there's one more thing I want to talk about before we do that. Um, ooh, RC Patina guy wants a continental with suicide. I'm feeling that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, one of the other things that dropped this week, aside from the mod wheels, which we're really excited and looking forward to seeing all, what you guys all do with them, um, is that we also dropped the kit, the pre-made kit for the dual servo mount on the 64. Now, I messed up and I forgot my remote for this specific car, which is my baby, my Warrior 64, um, which is all blue and gold, chrome underneath, um, Got some chains. It's 
it's my baby, right? Mob audio sound system. This is this is one of my my pride and joys, right? Um, you guys can see I got the gold red cap plaque in the back, All right? So. This bad boy has had the dual servo mount for a few months because we've been testing it rigorously. Rig, blah, I messed that up. We're gonna te we tested it over and over again, and we put it through the test of time and abuse. It really has done really well for us. Um, after doing the kit and installing it on this, uh, once we felt okay with it, we put it into production, and that kit is now available on our website. If you want a dual servo kit. Um, the link is in the product description, sorry, in the description of the video that you're watching right now. It is available on our website uh, while supplies last. You will need to add an additional servo, um, let alone, so the 64 already comes with your Reeves 300 alacritous servo, and you'll need an additional one for the opposite side. The whole purpose of the dual servo kit is to give you front independent control of your wheels, such as you've been able to see. That's not the one. No. Oh, you know what? That is not the one. No, I left it at home. Thank you. Appreciate it. See, my boy Richie, he saw me struggling. He knew I didn't bring my remote. He thought that uh, it was the one on my desk, but unfortunately it was not. Um, so the, the whole purpose is just to be able to do the same thing we do with the Monty to have full independent suspension in the front, to be able to dance, get that side-to-side -side sway. Um, this car right now is sitting on four 300 Reefs, Alacritus 300s, factory BEC with a 3S battery. Um, it has enough to have fun with and dance. Once I saw the BEC on it, it should be even more aggressive and fluid in that fashion. Car hops very well, still locks up very well. So we're gonna take the lid off because now I can officially show you what is going on underneath, okay? So I'm gonna change over to the camera view here once again. Uh, Clay Keats, what's going on, man? Hopefully you're doing a good one, bro. Can't wait to see you next month at uh, King of the Streets. Uh, Anthony Martinez, what's going on? How you doing, sir? Uh, Alan Pratt, any new things coming with the Gen 8? Um, not at this current time. Gen 8 is still an ongoing staple, but uh, we do have some things we're working on for future stuff that uh, could make it uh, even better and even cooler. So stick around, stay tuned, uh, keep tabs with us, and uh, we'll make sure we share that information when we're ready. Um, all right, let's change camera views here really quick, and I'll show you guys seemingly what we did here. So let me take my mob audio amp off there we go all right so in essence the kit itself will come with this lower plate this lower plate is molded to fit the actual chassis itself all hardware will be included all the rods will be included you will now have a split cam system that allows you the controllability of each individual servo in the front um, as you can tell, I'm a big Reefs fan. I got four 300s in here. It's the only way to go. If you're not rocking Reefs, I don't know what you're doing. But that, packed with the Gen's Ace battery, is always my go-to. I actually even went as far as installing a Glitch Buster, which is a pretty much a capacitor, because I run so many lights on everything that it kind of helps with the, the flashing of the lights when you're recording video. So if you want a cheap, you know, additional capacitor that you can install on your car. These are running like five to eight bucks at your local hobby store or a main hobbies or anything like that. And I just plug it right into my receiver so that I can obtain just a little bit of a uh, fluid uh, electrical current. I don't get that spike up and down, especially when you're hitting switches and you're demanding a lot out of your car. You don't want it to brown out. So that's my little trick of the day. Get one if you can, they work great. Uh, the 300s, as I mentioned, will now control the independent front suspension by itself. Uh, car will still hop, it will still uh, lock up, except now the car will actually have the side-to-side -side movement um, on the front end. And one of the cool things, is, is, as mentioned, is you can get this bad boy up, and you can now wave at people. Hello. So, uh, dual servo kits, fairly well-priced. As I mentioned, you will need to buy another servo. We do offer Reefs 300 Alacritus servos on our website as well. And if for some reason we're out of stock, you can also check them out at ReefsRC.com. Uh, great uh, location to buy from. Always on point, quick, and awesome customer service. So keep that in mind, guys. The dual servo kits are out. 
Um, a lot of people have been wanting to do them since the beginning. We've seen Jerry do his version of them. Great work. He's done a great job with them. We just wanted to give something that was going to come uh, using the cam system, um, you know, at, from the factory in, in a way. Uh, the plate that does come included with the kit does have the Red Cat logo embossed right there. You can see the split cam design, and all of that will be included as well as your new steering link and uh, an additional uh, rod for the hopping mechanism. So that is a dual servo kit. If you want one, head on over to the website, order one today. And as I mentioned, make sure to add a Reefs Halacaris 300 servo to the mix because you're gonna need that second one. Um, also, a lot of people wanna know what the difference is between the gold 300 Reef servo versus the black servo that is offered. Uh, the main difference from what I have been told is that one of them is programmable while the other one is not. Uh, one of them comes with an aluminum case with serrations uh, for better heat sinking uh, compared to the one that we have in the car. The internals are the same in that essence, uh, but the other one is going to be a little bit more heavier duty than the golds. So keep that in mind. Um, there's guys that are buying four of them, going all four corners. We know this. We've seen it happen on the Monte Carlo. We've seen people doing this before with the 64. And now you have an option to be able to buy a over-the-counter kit that you can install on your car to be able to use the cam actuated system the way you want and, and need. So. All right, Luke's in the house. What's up, brother man? I can't wait to see you next week in Florida, bro. Uh, Chaz, what's going on? Uh, Alan Pratt, sir, how you doing? Um, let's see, Finicaros, I'm hoping for some affordable RCs to come out. A lot of my customer base are new to the hobby and are getting into it. I love it, man. And that's one of the great things that Red Cat has been able to do in the past, which is always offer products that are at a good price point to get people involved into the hobby, right? There's a pocket, everyone has a different pocketbook and everyone has a different avenue that they want to approach the hobby with. And I'm glad where we're at with Red Cat that we always offered and been able to offer a multitude of options to be able to fit a lot of different pocketbooks. So I appreciate that. Um, so at this time, Anthony, um, Anthony asks, are you going to sell the Monte Carlo chassis by itself? At this exact moment, no. Um, but, well, let me ask you a question. You mean just the tub of the chassis, or do you mean like the LR280, LRH285, where we sell the whole chassis kit that comes with everything in electronics? I don't foresee that happening, but the chassis itself and spare parts should be available hopefully within the next month. Obviously, we've got the cars. And now we're getting all of the parts uh, slowly trickling in so that we can stockpile to have them available in that fashion. And I hope that answers your question, sir. Uh, Jesus, as I mentioned earlier, brother man, I'm so sorry on the dual servo kit. Next week, I will bring my uh, remote so that I can show you how that one works. Um, and if you go to the page, uh, the Red Cat Lowrider page, look up my name. I actually have a video of my car, the blue car, moving uh, with both servos working at the same time. So there's plenty of footage out there as well. And you can also look me up on Instagram at ASD underscore crawlers underscore RC where I also have other videos of the car as well so um, other than that I will try and bring my remote next week and well actually not next week the weekend after uh, so that I can show you guys so we're here we've talked mod wheels you guys know all about them uh, you know that there's options and, and different configurations not only do you have the four options but then you have four chrome for gold and then you can mix match those to get a multitude of different uh, uh, texture or combinations and then on top of that as i mentioned before the ss uh, hubcaps fit right on the factory wheels so that you can use your barrels with some of the other configurations for a second car if you want so gearing up we're getting ready we're packing up we're heading out to florida next week so next week's show may not happen at its normally scheduled time um, I will try and go, I will, depending on cell reception, go live from the actual event uh, every day at least a little bit to check in with you guys and show you guys a little bit of the action that's going on. Um, so if you guys come on by next week, 3.30 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time and I'm not here, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be here. I'll be in Florida, as I mentioned. So I'm excited, though. I'm really excited because it's a great scale event. and The event brings people from all over the world. These guys do it big. They have a team of people 
at USTE that are literally living on site, working on these trails, manicuring them, making sure they look great, not just from a regular walking by standpoint, but as well as from your camera, right? You, they look at the way they set up a trail, like how will that person take a picture of their truck? How is that gonna look from a camera angle? And that's the kind of mentality that I love. So for me, it is the ultimate scale event, and I cannot tell you how excited I am to, be, to finally be able to be a part of it. With that said, I didn't wanna just take a hard body crawler with me, um, and I didn't wanna just take my 64 lowrider, right? Because there's crawling involved. So um, I had to think of something. Last week, I showed you guys a bunch of parts, a 64 body, things that I found here and there. And uh, I think the time is coming to be able to share with you guys what exactly I built within one week. Um, are you guys ready for this? Because I'm going to need every single one of your guys' help to try and help me come up with a really cool name. I'll tell you what, if you guys drop a really cool name after seeing this thing and I choose it, I will make sure to reach out to you personally after choosing the name, that if it is the name that I chose, um, and I'll get you guys uh, one of my... Uh, sticker banner packs with a hat so that we can get out to you guys um, in appreciation for helping me come up with the most coolest name. On top of that, I will have stickers created of that name for this car. I have a name in my mind. I don't know if it's going to work, and I'll drop it with you guys and see what you guys think. Um, but uh, without further ado, the 64 Gen 8 Crawler. Uh, let me turn this thing on. Uh, okay. All right. Whoo, I'm excited about this one, guys. All right. Because we, we, we're thinking like Mad Max style stuff, right, guys? We, we, we saw there was zoomies that might have gotten installed. There was going to be a roof rack. Uh, you know, whatever I could find and throw on this thing, right? So, without further ado, I think... I'm thinking like El Sancho is a good name for this one. Um, but here's the Gen 8 64. There she is. Gen 8 64. It's a Gen 8 platform uh, V2 that I went ahead and shortened the wheelbase, uh, installed a Hobby Wing Axe system in it, Z Run, uh, 3300 KV, Raw 500. Reefs RC Servo, powered by a 2200 Gen Zay's Basher Series battery. Uh, El, El Tacador. Ah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, I like that. Uh, the Bull Stud in Spanish. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, <laughs> all right, let's, kinda, um, let's go over this a little bit, because there's a lot of stuff going on on this thing, and I want you guys to know that everything on this thing is red cap. Every last bit of it. I didn't use anything from any other manufacturer in that sense. Uh, yes, it's, 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 it's a bit high up there for sure. So, Gen 8 V2 shortened up. I went ahead and I used some CNC custom wheels, 2.2 inch wheels, extra wide, wrapped with some uh, Proline Hyrax XLs. There are some scale hardware and scale rotors in there as well. Um, where you're running trio, hobby, front and rear axles, metal drive shafts throughout the whole thing made by MIP. Um, we started adding some trinkets, right? We got I mean, the turbos in the front, right? So that it kind of looks a little more mean, right? Um, added some, the Red Cat logo on the front corner, which you guys can see there, and on the back, which you guys can see back there. Uh, there was a roll cage that you guys saw me have last week. I went ahead and I cut that thing up, and you guys can see it's installed in there now. Let me turn off the light and show you guys a little bit more. There's the front of the roll cage there. You got your fire extinguisher on the opposite side. You got your King Taco stickers all over it, right? And window net on this side because race car, right? I mentioned before, there's some limiters to the suspension. So I'm limiting the front to a certain amount of millimeters and I'm getting a little more travel because obviously if you notice, I don't have as much travel area on the back. So, but to give you an idea, articulation wise, it's pretty good. Um, a lot of the weight is down low for lower center of gravity. Again, crawling is what I've been doing for the last 
eight plus years. So crawling is my thing, more or less. And um, low riders was not a thing until this last two years. So um, to, to be fair, I mean, you guys can see where I'm sitting at here. Get that bad boy up. Just enough to do exactly what I needed to do. We've got a rotor packs in the back. On the top, I got a set of spokes because they're like slippers, right? I mean, we're out there crawling all day. We've got to throw our slippers on once in a while so we can load it up, right? Uh, we got sand rails. We got a generator on top, an extra jerry can on top, an axle. We got light bar that works. I added some lights inside. There's a GPS system inside as well that came out of the Windigo kit. Um, the, uh, what else did I put on here that was kind of cool? Oh, uh, our old SC truck, the FUSA. I ended up taking the mud flaps that were on it and I ended up cutting it in half and trimming it and I ended up remounting them back up using some scale hardware. So now it's got real working mud flaps in the back. Obviously my signature move is always my Labworks license plate. Double shout out to the RC plate shop for making those for me. Always does an amazing job at them. So on top of that, we added a oil cooler on the front because why not? Right? I mean, you got to keep the oil cool. Got to keep the engine happy. So now we're looking at this, you know, really cool looking thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's so ugly that it's not ugly. I, 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 this is the best way I can describe it to you guys. Um, little Pepe from Romancing the Stone, RC Bettina guy. I thought of that. El Diablo. There's another name. Right on, man. Uh, the Taco Hunter. <laughs> the Red Demon Maximus. Um, <laughs> higher than a giraffe's ass. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, so that's where I'm at. Now, I did 3D print a Recaro seat. So there is a seat inside. And Marty McFly is driving inside. And he is strapped to a five-point harness. Now, the five-point harness, um, I... I, I didn't know anyone that made one or that I can get one in time. So what I did was after I'm making the seat itself, it had the openings for the seat belt. I grabbed a bunch of zip ties and I put a zip tie uh, and I glued it to the top of the seat and I just brought it down and I did another zip tie going across his, uh, you know, uh, hip area and then the, the five point harness going up the middle. And then I just used the end of one of the zip ties, a square end, cut it and I glued that to meet all of them together to then recreate a five point racing harness for the car. So, you know, Marty is safe in there and he's totally okay. And the 2200 battery sits right behind him. Um, at this point, the only other thing that's really missing is just a couple of trinkets that I want to do like a shift knob and I have to install the steering column and it's done. So this is the coolest part because I obviously have to travel, you know, to, um, Florida, I need to make sure this thing gets there in one piece. So, no big deal. I made it so that I can take the body off. It is Velcroed on. There's your wiring harness for your lights. I'll put that off to the side for a sec. Here's the body. You got your Velcro mounts on either side. The roll cage glued in. I used the inner wheel wells of the Gen 8 uh, Scout body so that it gives it rigidity, right? It's not as floppy. Um, there is a little CB radio that's hanging around in there as well. Uh, there's your light controller for the lights itself. Um, and it's all stickered up now. So there's your car itself. I hope you guys like it. It's uh, not the prettiest thing out there, but again, it's something that I thought was going to be really cool and something different to do and bring out to the event. Um, double shout out to uh, Tandem RC. They had a lot of the scale goodies that I needed in stock, so I was able to go and get them from them. Man, if you guys are in town and need to stop by and check out a really cool drift track, uh, Tandem RC, great guys, I'm telling you. Um, all right, now let's talk about the chassis. As I mentioned before, it was shortened right, uh, to accommodate the body a little bit better. The, these are just plastic pieces that I found, which you guys can see here and here. 
Um, and I just put Velcro on top of them to mount the body to it. There's your seat that I was talking about. Let me get that out of the way. The 3D printed seat that I made and just 3D printed it. Uh, Thingiverse had a file. I'm blessed to have a very small 3D printer at home that was able to print this. It took about seven hours to print. Um, and then here you go. There's his, the five point racing harness that I made for him had a zip ties. So sometimes you just got to think outside the box a little bit, right? Find ways and things that you have laying around to just kind of make your, your build unique to you and, and, and fun to you. At the end of the day, when you build something like this, like was, one could call it a spare parts rig. And that's exactly what this is. It's a full spare parts rig, um, parts that we had laying around. The majority of the chassis was built. Um, and I did it my way and I'm enjoying it my way. There's nothing cooler than building something and then taking it to an event such as USTE or any event thereof and hopefully getting someone that says, dude, that is sick. I haven't seen that before. That to me is like the biggest grat or flat form of flatter that I could ever ask for. Um, and you can, can see the battery sitting right here in the back, uh, bolted in. I mean, I can literally take Marty out. There he is. And now... This gets strapped to my backpack or my carry-all bag, and I take that with me everywhere I go on the plane. The body and Marty can sit in my carry-on. I'm going to swap camera so you guys can see a little bit about this uh, five-point racing harness that I made. There you go. Again, just a couple of zip ties, guys, goes a long way. So you're just sticking out there. It's glued now, so I, I can actually trim these back, and it'll be fine. Um, but I just glued them in place just to keep it going. There's a Velcro on the bottom where it just sits literally right there. So there it is, guys. Um, I'm going to look over some of the names you guys chose. If there's one that stands out and it's a clear winner, I'll reach out to you and uh, we'll get you something set out, sent out from me personally as a thank you. Um, I like it, BT Thurman 6, 4 by 4. <laughs> oh, man. Uzu, what's going on, bro, man? Hopefully you're having a good day, bro. Um, yeah, thinking outside the box, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, it's, it's not easy sometimes to think outside the box, and sometimes you do it and, it, and you fail miserably, but... If you don't try, you know, you, you never get to make things that sometimes come out cool. And I honestly don't know if this is cool enough yet, but hopefully it's enough to, you know, for you guys to enjoy and have fun with watching and in that fashion. Um, let me double check last questions here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so... Um, so yeah guys so nonetheless man so th that's where we're at other than that it's a factory gen 8 nothing else done to it as i mentioned uh, aftermarket wheels were used axe hobby wing system gen's ace battery reefs rc raw 500 servo and as i mentioned before the body right now to put this body back on we just simply line up the front there Open up the back just a little bit to let it fall in place. Velcro now holds it in place, and it's done. So there you go, guys. So if you guys are going to be coming out to Florida next week, uh, man, swing by and say what's up to me. I'm going to have some of our new king taco stickers if you want one on your rig let me know and i'll get one uh sent out to you so uh man it's been a great show i appreciate you guys uh as i mentioned as a recap we talked mod wheels the different configurations how they go together uh and a couple little secret tidbits that hopefully help you guys enjoy them to the maximum potential uh we talked a little bit about the dual servo kit as well uh as i mentioned all of the parts that I mentioned today uh, are in the description of the video. So if you want to just go there right after this, you can click on them and it'll take you right to our website so you can order your very own. Um, the 
actual car itself, as I mentioned, um, I won't be here next week. I'll be in Florida at USTE, hopefully putting some miles on this thing and enjoying it to the max. Um, I hope the rest of you guys have an amazing rest of your week and a great next week because I won't see you guys, but uh, we'll try to go live from the event and share with you guys some of the cool stuff. Uh, until then, man, I, I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a great and safe week ahead. And uh, man, keep the rubber side down, guys. So love, peace, chicken grease. I'll see you guys next time.